Yo guys, welcome back to King Owls, and yes, Edgar Belanga officially beats Jason Quingley by unanimous decision, and yeah, overall Belanga wins the fight, still looking a little bit underwhelming though as a fighter, Quigley showing a lot of heart, fair play to him, very, very, very tough, Belanga dropping Quigley four times in that fight, uh, he dropped him uh, once in round three, once in round five, and twice in round 12. And <clears throat> overall, Quigley was meant to be a decent name on Belanga's record for Belanga to be able to get out of there. And he didn't get him out of there. He, he literally won every single round, yes. Let's be real, Belonga basically won every single round. I feel like people are being a little bit too critical of that, saying that possibly people edged a few rounds too quickly. But no, I think Belonga won every single round in that fight. But again, looking underwhelming and again, overhyped. Let's be real. He's very, very, very overhyped. He doesn't put together too many combinations. He's very one, he's a very one dimensional fighter. He's, he, he's overall, like, I think he takes the front foot well, pressures his opponent well, doesn't really give his opponent much time to breathe, like he did with Quigley tonight, consistently pressuring him. But he was getting caught a bit too much and still needs to tighten up his defence. And that's been a problem with um, Belonga throughout his career. He gets caught with some stupid, stupid, stupid bloody shots. And it did happen again kind of, kind of tonight. Um, quickly, you know, very, very tough. He threw out that right hand quite well. A lot of time to dig and did catch Belonga. And it shows that he does need to tighten up his defense, as I've just been saying. Quigley's very tough. Fair play to him. He's not scared to fight anyone. You can stick him in there with anyone. He's kind of a bit of a gatekeeper of the division, really. But let's be real, he was pitting there with Belonga, so that way Belonga can make a statement against a decent name, and he could not get him out of there. Yes, he dropped him four times, but, but you know, Belonga, like, you need to be stopping that guy. Look at what uh, Demetrius Andrade did to him. There's a lot of work for dude, uh, to do for Belonga, in my opinion, still. Uh, quickly, let's be real, he hasn't really got any jab whatsoever, and, like... Let's be real, I feel like that was probably a bit of a, that was probably, again, like, it's just a big issue for him. If you don't really have a jab, then you're not going to get that too far, let's be real. Um, he doesn't really use it too much at all, does he, quickly? And he could, and if he did have a jab, um, the kind of open defence of Belonga that he does have, he could have caused him a few more problems. But, nah, I, I feel like someone who can actually properly jab, um and will we'll be able to cause Belanga problems. He's not ready for world level, let's put it that way. Belanga is not ready for that world level. I feel like overall, you know, he doesn't throw together too many combinations. I feel like, you know, he is fast when he does throw Belanga. He is fast, but he's, again, he's just, in my opinion, he's, I don't know, he just... Uh, he has a weird style. That's that's what I'm trying to say. He has this really weird style. I don't think he'll be able to cope with any uh, with anyone at least top level. If you want to put him in there with Canelo, that wouldn't work, or anyone like that. Demetrius Andrade, it wouldn't work if you put him in there with like guys at a high at a higher level. It would not work. I feel like, you know, overall Belonga, he has decent footwork, but overall he doesn't have the skills that you that you have to have to be at that world level. He's not there yet. You know, it is good that, you know, he got some rounds under his belt, but I, he, he did show that he is a fairly power, that, you know, he can hit hard, he is a power puncher, he dropped the guy four times. But, like, I feel like you need to be getting quickly out of there to set a proper statement. He didn't do that. He didn't set a proper statement. Yes, he dropped him, like, a lot of times. He got good rounds in, consistently preferring, won every single round. So, in a way, you know, it is a bit of a, you know, state. No, it's not really, is it? He didn't really show great boxing IQ tonight, Belonga. He's very overhyped by Matchroom, Eddie Hearn. By a lot of people, really. And, you know, he's starting to get found out a lot, uh, in my opinion, Belonga. He's starting to, you know, get really shown up to something that he's not really. He's not that world-level kind of guy. And he is going to get found out. 
Quigley, you know, with him, his defence is wide open, easy to hit, to be fair. He's all right on his feet, no jab. The right hand, you know, he, he, he is fairly stiff at times, to be fair, Quigley. The longer can be a bit stiff at times. The longer, again, his defence is fairly wide and a proper high-level fighter will see that and will punish the longer for that, simple as. Uh, let's be real, that, that that is what will happen. He will get punished for having his defence wide open. He gets hit with shots that he does not need to get hit with. And, yeah, that's the thing. Like, when he takes the front foot, he moves with, you know, he doesn't really have much head movement, Belonga. That's a big thing that you need at world level. Where Belonga does not have that head movement that someone like Canelo would have, that someone would, Andrade would have. He doesn't have that kind, he doesn't have that kind of thing. Look at what Demetrius Andrade did to Jason Quingley. He absolutely annihilated him, got him out of there. Belonga couldn't even do that. He could not even get him out of there. And, you know, Quigley was put in there. As I said, like he needed to make a proper statement knockout in that one but longer. He needed to. He didn't do that. So, so you know, everyone's obviously still quite critical of him still. Uh, and rightly so, to be completely honest. We needed a better performance than that. And, yeah, he can't, yeah, he kind of failed on that uh, side of things, to be fair. But fair play to Quigley. He showed great heart throughout the fight. Longer, it's going to be interesting to see his next steps. But, no, he's not ready for world level. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace out.